Just recording a quick video to show you how to log in to DroneBlox. Um, we're at the dev.droneBlox webpage and we're going to be working with the simulator. This process will also be the same regardless of whether you are using the simulator or if you're using the Chrome web app or the device um, iOS or um, Android. Clicking on the simulator and then launching the simulator, we're going to get a new tab that opens up. Um, that DroneBlox 2020 password is the one that we will use to access the simulator feature. That's already been plugged in, uh, saved to my password, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit confirm. Uh, apparently, I can't spell correctly, so I'm going to retype that password in. That password, once again, is just DroneBlox 2020. Now, once you've hit the simulator page, um, what you're going to want to use is the hamburger menu here in the middle of the screen. Clicking on that hamburger menu, you've got this bright blue login button. Uh, when you click on that login button, you're going to be given at options to create accounts using two different methodologies. One is just using the sign-in with Google. If your school is a Google school, this will work with you and your students. Um, you can also additionally just create an account using the email that you do have in the event that you're uh, in office school, for example. You can use that email and a passcode will be sent to that email address to complete the login process. Um, at Next Wave Sim, we are a Google company, so I can just go ahead and use my sign in with Google as my single sign in option. After we get that reload taken care of, now I have been signed into Drone Blocks. Um, there's no really great indicator here in the simulator, but you do get an indicator in the iOS and Chrome apps that you have signed in. Clicking on the hamburger menu again, this uh, bright blue three stripe menu, you see that I have a drone box menu available. Also the options to save the mission code and show mission code. Um, that will allow me to sign into other devices and access the drone from there or access my code from there. Um, hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any other questions.